I came to protest today because I think you need to show you're opposed to a bill that the majority of the country think is a good thing, the assisted dying bill. And it's not the case. I believe the majority of people don't know or understand what the bill's about and what they're really saying yes to. So I thought it's massively important that whether you're a, your objection to the bill is because you're a disabled person, because you're afraid legally, because you're a doctor and you don't support it, or a person of religion, I think we need to get together basically and show this is not straightforward, we do not support the bill and kind of not in our name basically. I think what people don't realise about the law and what scares me is that it indemnifies doctors against being prosecuted. It rather than give, I feel rather than give me choice, what it does is it means that a doctor is off the hook if they help me to die. It's going to be much harder to prove that a doctor has acted unlawfully and it's all going to happen behind closed doors. I'm passionate that this law doesn't go through, not, not out of some scaremongering, uh, you know, fear of something that won't happen, but because I travel to all the countries where assisted suicide is legal, or euthanasia as well in many of the countries, I saw firsthand how once it's introduced into a country, it will expand, it will in increase the numbers of people dying this way um, and lead to more people wanting that and pressures on vulnerable people, disabled people, old people, terminally ill people. So I just, I, I feel it inside to the point of this law cannot pass. I feel it's, a, it's such a dangerous thing in the current in the, in the current climate, you know, where people don't have choice over their lives, they don't have the right NHS support or social care, it terrifies me basically what would happen if this law came in.